Greetings dear friends, I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Renault Megane. There is a whole bunch of gearboxes in store for the Renault Megane 2. Gasoline engines up to 1.4 liters relied on a simple 5-speed JH1 gearbox, but sometimes a stronger JH3 was installed with them and from 1.6 it was always installed. It is easy to distinguish between boxes. The Honor series has a clever design of the left shoes, its tripod is located inside the box. The JR5 is a newer version of the 5-speed gearbox rated for up to 200 nanometers and is installed with 84 horsepower, 1.5 diesel engines and a 2.0 gasoline engine. Unlike JH1, JH3, it has a cable shift mechanism. Exotics, which we mainly find only with powerful versions of the 1.5 TDI diesel, are the 6-speed PK4, PK6 and the Rainforest PF6 for gasoline turbo engines and the most powerful 1.9 and 2.0 diesel engines. While there is only one automatic machine, on all versions there is a 4-stage all French DPO in several versions from DPO 046 to DPO 054. Manual transmissions from the French are far from ideal, but in most cases serious problems with them are not encountered up to runs of 200-300 thousand kilometers, but there are nuances. JH1 gearbox for 1.4 do not tolerate races, boasts synchronizers, both synchronizers of 2-4 gears and a differential can die. It is even harder for the JR5 box if the turbo diesel was chipped with an increase in power and torque. Here the severity of the consequences varies from the hauling of the bearings to again the folding of the differential. Another problem of the JH1 boxes is the design of the tripod glass and the boot of the left drive. This glass doesn't have the usual system of fixing the shaft and the profile of the contact surface is that with runs over 200,000. The shaft begins to vibrate, make noise and at the slightest opportunity can go out for a walk. But more often from the bearings of the start to the tripod ball bearings simply fall out, which are sent to float along the inside of the box. This usually ends up badly for the differential and gears. The problem is complicated by the fact that the CV joint boot here is actually the gearbox oil seal, simply hypertrophied. It breaks when there are problems with the shaft and all the oil from the box ends up on the road. GH3 is devoid of this dubious design, it has other CV joints with an intermediate shaft to ensure equal length and there are immediately noticeably fewer problems. Let it flow no worse than the junior gearbox of the series and the oil level must be monitored just as carefully but the oil here will go out relatively slowly through ordinary oil seals or a reverse sensor and little by little through the breather. Tripods with their open bearings are outside the box body which can be considered a plus. The JR5, as already mentioned, is rather weak for motors with a torque of 200 nanometers, but after restyling it was installed on cars with 1.6 engines, with which it is almost eternal in the presence of fresh oil. Well, from 2.0 or 1.5 after a couple of 100,000 run, you can expect increased noise from those who like to drive or ride at maximum speed, but most often the box is ruined by simply missing the oil. All 6-speed gears have a much higher maximum transferable torque. Even the Yonas PK4 has a limit of 360 nanometers, and given that, for the most part, they are installed with 1.5 DCI motors, which do not give out more than 240 nanometer in stock, and it is almost unrealistic to tighten them for a moment more than 270 nanometers. Mechanical problems happen mainly due to a missed oil level. The differential is made with a good margin. However, diesel engines 1.9 and 2.0 fully realize all the capabilities of PK4, and they are entitled to PK6, FP6, which have a limit higher than the 300-360 nm they can develop. A 2-mass flywheel on diesel engines made by Renault, oddly enough the thing is reliable, withstands more than 200,000 mileage, but the cost of the clutch kit turns out to be rather big, more than 60,000 rubles and improper work with the clutch can finish off both it and the flywheel for much less mileage. In the other gearboxes, the shift mechanism is driven by rods, with all the backlash relying on older cars. On the 6-speed gearbox and JR5, the drive, as already mentioned, is cable-driven, noticeably more reliable, but sensitive to wear on the gear lever bearing. Also, the cables do not like long machine downtime. They can get jammed. You shouldn't be intimidated by the hydraulic squeeze, it works perfectly and runs for a long time. AKP DPO is fanned by some kind of demonic glory, although in fact the idea was not bad. 
the older AD4 box, which was a licensed but modified and improved version of Volkswagen's masterpiece 01M, was redesigned and improved again to ensure the minimum cost and maximum manufacturer availability, and at the same time equipped with more advanced control electronics. The result is that a good mechanical part could at least cope with the torque of up 200 nanometer, but even with the torque of 130-160 nanometer on the motor shaft, there were a lot of problems with it. A weak cooling system, a heat exchanger clogged with deposits, intense contamination of the oil in the box, weak solenoids and a valve body, which is generally sensitive to pollution, created many problems for owners with runs over hundreds of thousands of kilometers, especially in Moscow traffic jams. The creators of the box clearly knew about the weaknesses of the valve body and provided for a rather serious filter in the design and not just a steel mesh. But they forgot to oblige the owners to often change the oil and the internal filter simply clogs over time, creating oil starvation in the box. Moreover, it begins to be felt after 60,000 km of heavy traffic. The active use of blocking the gas turbine engines leads to its operation to the adhesive layer with runs of less than 150,000 km in urban traffic. Overheating, which is practically programmed by the design of the box and oil starvation, quickly disabled the bushings and often still caused the valve body plate to bend. The Teflon oil rings of the back cover also fall apart almost immediately in such conditions. As a result, after the first overheating, the box is no longer a tenant. An attempt at further operation after changing the oil installing the radiator in the hurry only increases the cost of subsequent repairs. However, despite all this, with frequent oil changes, normal thermal conditions and the absence of racing ambitions, the owner of the car can find a completely live automatic transmission with a range of under 300,000. The gearbox tolerates peak loads quite normally, and small improvements in the form of an external radiator and the installation of an external automatic transmission filter, coupled with an oil change at least once every 30,000 km, translates this automatic transmission into the category of quite long plane, even with 2.0 engines. Unfortunately, good owners are as rare as perfect cars. However, the box can be overhauled once, since it is relatively inexpensive and it is very simple to repair. The main thing is that in addition to repairing a mechanical part, do not forget about the valve body. Its plate can be purchased for 16,000. All engines on the second generation Megane are well known in Russia. The 1.4 liter K4J is a version of the popular K4M found on the Logan and Sundar. The 2 liter F4R was installed on a duster, as was the 1.5 liter K9K diesel. There will definitely be no problems with spare parts and service. Of course, there are fewer specialists in the turbocharged F4RT, but this is in general the same engine from the point of view of the locksmiths and diesel engines 1.9 and 2.0 were widely used on Nissan, Renault, Volvo and even a bunch of cars, but just on Megane they are completely irrelevant. Fighting a car with this engine is as difficult as with the turbocharged gasoline engine, so we will not dwell on them in detail. Motors of the K4 series in general have long proven themselves as reliable and expensive units to maintain, especially the 1.6 liter K4M, the smaller K4J engine with 98 horsepower, less fortunate. His phase control system wears out more actively and it is more susceptible to vibrations, traction failures and triplets. Otherwise, the design of the motors is practically the same, with the exception of the dimensions of the piston group, of course. The more successful engine options are without a phase shifter. It is not the best design here. K4J with 84 horsepower just without it, it is not threatened with knocks in the morning as well as the 105 horsepower K4M engine, which is very rare. But all motors with a phase shifter unfortunately will require additional cost every 100,000. The current phasic is not only the loss of oil but also the ingress of oil on the timing belt, which in such a situation will not live long. By the way, the service belt also needs to be monitored in both directions, here it's easily wound on the pulley, after which the timing belt slips. However, replacing the phase shifter will not ruin, it cost 6-8 rubles, besides there are recovery kits on sale. Like other budget engines, the K4 has problems with oil leaks through the oil seals, the quality of the seals, noise and vibrations, as well as the intake leak. The timing belt here requires routine replacement at least once, every 60,000 km. It is not worth tightening, the belt itself and the rollers were out, they are usually of average quality here. At the same time, you need to change the pump, it is likely to survive to timing changes. Ignition coils are not particularly durable, after 50-60 thousand mileage, they can present surprises. A damper pulley of not the best design requires monitoring and replacement every second timing shift, otherwise surprises are possible, up to smoke in the engine compartment and timing failure. 
The layout in the engine compartment is tight. For work with attachments, it is often necessary to remove the front panel. But these are in general trifles. In general, this is an excellent motor with a resource of at least 300,000 km with normal maintenance. The 2-liter F4R is also a simple motor and even more reliable than its small counterparts. The problems are exactly the same. Not a very large timing resource, leaks, a phase regulator with runs of more than 80,000, a dirty intake, a damper pulley. A dirty choke and unsuccessful seals of the ignition coils are added, often punches the tip onto the body. At the same time, the engine is less sensitive to the quality of fuel, it runs even quieter than, and it's not prone to vibrations. The resource is expected to decent for 300. Diesel K9K in general, it is also a good engine. The crankshaft liners should be attributed only to the number of consumables, with runs of more than 120,000 and the use of SAE30 viscosity oil, seizures are a common thing, especially after chip tuning. The rule is simple, buy a car, change the timing, change the inserts too. This is much cheaper than looking for a new motor instead of the old one with a hole in the block later. And it is best to use SAE40 or even SAE50 oils in the summer, change every 10,000 maximum and regularly measure the oil pressure. The particulate filter is not a tenant when operating through traffic jams, and the regular burning procedure is very harmful to the motor and it cannot be started without a scanner, especially since the liquid costs a lot of money for this. In case of serious contamination, the filter is more often removed than burned. Fortunately, there are Euro 3 versions without a filter. Of the diesel cars, it is worth choosing post-styling ones with fuel equipment from Bosch, which is both more reliable and easier to find specialists. It is no coincidence that Brino has abandoned the Delphi supplier. Fuel and air filters should be changed very often, optimally once every 20,000, it is not so expensive. Under normal maintenance, the piston group can withstand more than 300,000 shoots and the average consumption will please even Klyushki. On the highway, you can achieve an indicator of 3.2 liter if you do not accept the speed of 19 km per hour and up to 5 liter in the city. But still, if you want not to think about the motor, you'd better take something else. This engine requires high quality maintenance, doesn't tolerate forgetfulness and carelessness, especially at the age at which all the second generation Megans on the market are. Finally, I would like to say about the problems that are typical for old motors, for example leaks in the cooling system. The main radiator corrodes at the bottom and leaks closer to 200,000 mileage. Factors contributing to this are the mileage on the highway, the lack of a protective mesh in the bumper and old antifreeze. The radiator fans are not particularly tenacious. After 150,000 mileage, it is highly recommended to monitor the rotation and, if necessary, lubricate, clean or replace. In severe cases, the wiring to the fence may burn. The engine mounts are weak, especially the lower guitar. With details in younger gasoline engines, they have to be changed often in order not to tolerate vibrations. On this information about the problems of Renault Megane is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.